Denzel Washington doesn't necessarily have anything coming out, but he's literally like the Jay-Z of acting. So when it comes to Denzel, I think we should focus more so on Denzel's performance. Being of the pictures we the movies we pick. Because otherwise Fences is gone, period. Are you kidding me? For movies? Fences Fences is not a great as great as a movie as anything else. It's okay, great, so what right, I so need do you to want know, to just take Fences off and put something else? Hell no! Fences is one of the best movies on that list right there. Terrence, no, it's not. Terrell, if we're talking about movies, Fences is one of the best movies on this list right here. I don't agree. Fences is not a great movie. It's a movie that has fantastic performances. Damn. That's exactly what God was like. <laughs> hush! Hush your ass up. It's a movie that has fantastic performances. That's this great. video is going to start exactly how it just started. Yep, let's do it. Yep. So, One must go. From these four. Training Day. Malcolm X. John Q. Fences. Fences is leaving. Fences ain't leaving. I'm getting John Q out of there before oh, I'm getting Fences out of there. That's ridiculous. John Q, let's think about it. Denzel, that is ridiculous. Denzel Washington's performance was great. But let's be honest. That shit wasn't realistic, bro. His ass ain't getting... In what? In what? In what? John his, Q? His ass ain't... At the end, real life ain't like that. Fences? Fences was real life. John Q was a movie. Fences was some... Think about it. August Wilson, bro. I read Fences in high school. I'm biased. Probably the best written but whatever is up here. Fences is arguably better than John Q and Training Day. Y'all can, uh, y'all can, y'all can hit me on that. You can get at me on that. Are you ridiculous? Are you... Are you... Training Day was good, but honestly, it was Denzel, bro. You could put anybody in Fences and it would have been good because Fences was written well. And you no. needed two veterans who could do that. So this is Denzel movies. This is Denzel... So we get rid of the movies. Okay. Right? All right. We're gonna, we want to. So you're before. gonna tell me that Fences is a better movie than Training Day? No, you didn't say that. You said John Q, which I 100% disagree with. This is the thing about John Q, bro. The movie starts. They at the damn little baseball game. No, matter of fact, Kimberly Elise. God. They at the baseball game. Can I? Right? Got the little whatever set up. The boy passed the hell out on the field. Just fell, and we like, damn. Bro, like, come on, bro. They, they go. He has an enlarged heart. They can't find a heart. Denzel holds up the hospital, and he's like, "My son's gonna live." And then he was like, "I'll just do my son." Then Denzel ends up. <laughs> Denzel ends up dying, giving his son his heart. Right. Come or on, no, bro. he don't. No. Oh my God, I could cry thinking about that shit, bro. His son was in a bodybuilding, and so when his son got the new heart, and they took his father to jail. When they were taking him, he was doing the bodybuilding thing outside of his car. I haven't seen That movie is way better than Fences. You can't tell me that. And I shouldn't even be screaming like this because my voice is fucked up. How in the hell is the boy outside already with a zoot suit on, standing out there with a, I just remember him having on a big ass jacket. <laughs> How was he standing outside doing this already after just having heart surgery? Because he's strong, he's a boy, and it's a movie. You don't have start The time passed. The case had already passed. Terrell, you don't tear it. His trial was later. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. You're, right, you're right. You're right. I just remember him having a big ass jacket. Fences on. is out of here. Fences Are was a long me? ass, winded ass movie. Fences was an acting clinic, bro. It was. Viola Davis. But we're talking about Denzel Washington's performance in, in Fences was one of the biggest snubs of all time Oscar history. Who won over him? Casey. Casey Affleck won Oh, for yeah. That bullshit The movie, movie where he just sat there and looked confused the whole time. Even when he won, he knew Denzel should have won, and his ass got up there and said, Oh, Denzel. Oh, you know, Denzel, you, you shut know. The fuck up. Shut your ass up and take yep. your award. Manchester by the sea. Michelle Williams' performance in that, that's the true Oscar winner. And she lost. She just got a nomination. That was some BS. Oh, Viola Davis didn't get snubbed. I mean, Davis Michelle won, yeah, Williams exactly. did not get snubbed. So, yeah. She did not get snubbed. Viola Davis took that home. Because she was in what? Fences. Fences. Bro, Fences to me, people are going to go back and look at that movie and get to see two actors really show off what the hell they can do, bro. Think about it. John Q is cool. But we getting that up off of there, bro, because we ain't getting that. Let's talk about it. Let's move on to the, probably the most prestigious film on here. Malcolm X, bro. Malcolm X. It ain't Training even no Training Day is question. the most prestigious film on here. You're tripping. You're tripping. You're tripping. You're saying that Training Day is more prestigious than Malcolm X? Training Day is a film. Not saying more prestigious than Malcolm X himself. But more prestigious a film? Yes. 
I think I think Spike Lee was completely snubbed for that movie. You think Training Day? Yes. Is a better movie than Malcolm X? Let me just let me just go back a little bit. Malcolm X that had Denzel Washington, Spike Lee. What's the big dude's name? You don't even know. Sid. His name was something in the movie. I spell his name is Sid. You don't even know his name. What's his name? Oh no! It ain't even about none of the other people. Malcolm X is hands down one of Denzel is hands down to me Denzel Washington's best movie that he's ever done. Wow, Denzel, steady getting snubbed. But this one, this one takes the cake for biggest oh, yeah. snub. Biggest snub of all time. Biggest snub of all time. That movie was flawless. He lost to um, Al Pacino for what was that Sense movie? Sense of a Woman. Sense Sen of a Woman. Yep. And I ain't gonna lie. Al Pacino's performance in that was great, but it wasn't his year to win. His year to win was back when he did Godfather. Well, his year to win was back when y'all didn't nominate him for Scarface. It wasn't for Scent of a Woman. Right. He got that all oh, damn. We slipped up on you. We missed you so many times. We just gonna give you that. Yeah. Denzel's performance got overlooked, so they gave him the uh, Oscar for Training Day. Denzel's performance as Lonzo, probably hands down the most, the scariest Denzel that we've seen. Have you I, not seen Equalizer? <laughs> <laughs> that movie is just without a doubt, without question, the best film. Let me just say this, because I love Training Day. To me, Denzel Washington played the coolest cop I've ever seen on film, bro. Will Smith, Bad Boys. I think Denzel Mike Washington. Lowry is the coolest cop ever. Nah, nah. Oh, I oh, think Eddie Murphy, Belly, Belly Hills Cop. Okay, they're cool, but they're like fun cool. Denzel Washington, uh, Lonzo. He gave you a certain realistic, I gotta be this animal in these streets to survive. It made me feel like, you know what? This is how dirty cops really get down. Yeah. You feel me? I feel like Which it was more. Which is why he, he was cool as hell, bro. All right. We need to get rid of one of these films. And I'm going to tell you. My film to go is going to be. Um, don't say fences. fences. Yours can be whatever you want it to be. You know what? I don't think your opinion is going to hold too much weight after you said that Training Day was better than Malcolm X. I said I'm, Training I Day is a better movie. Malcolm X, a lot of people didn't agree with the way they did that movie. I was about to say, but, I, was about to say be, yeah. I loved it, but a lot of people didn't agree with the way it was done. Shout out to everybody who read the, the autobi autobiography by Alex Haley for Malcolm X. Um, a lot of people will say that Spike Lee's adaption for Malcolm X was historically inaccurate. And that it left out a lot of things. What that movie needed to do. Ernest Dickerson behind the camera. You All got right. Denzel Washington. Honestly, you just said Training Day was better than the Malcolm X as a film. Have you not seen the Sam Cooke scene where he going down the, he's going to his last like Terrence, speech. don't start talking about scenes. Because Training Day, I could give you a thousand scenes. I need you to name me one scene that's better than the I Was Born by the River Sam Cooke scene. Oh, uh, how about King Kong ain't got nothing on me? Come on, bro. Terrence. We was in, we could be in the theater like laughing acting. at that. And no, you were not. That's the problem with you new young cats. Nowadays, when you watch it, you laugh. Because we've seen it and it's funny. But do you watch it? Do no, you watch it? We, we, we only laugh. laugh. We only laugh because and it's not about it. You get in your about. feelings when you watch Malcolm X every time. Because you, you know got to watch. Not. To me, Malcolm X is one of the most complete biopic films. It's the best biopic that I've ever seen. You got to see from when he was literally young. You got to see him transition from being lost as a black dude to becoming a conscious black dude. Yeah. A path that a lot of young black dudes need to see to know that it's possible. To know that you might be lost in the sauce. He went all the way to the bottom, went to jail. Went to jail. And it is a real story about Malcolm X. Let's just agree that John Q has to go. No. All right. No. John Q Fences is, is the most We don't talk about that. So Fences is gonna go. Fences goes. For me. For you, John Q goes. Best film on here is Malcolm X. Day. <laughs> Anton Fuqua. Y'all, please come and tell Terrell he's tripping. Malcolm X was phenomenal, bro. But as a film, guys, not don't think about the real Malcolm X. Terrell, Terrell, I'm, I'm, I'm losing you. So let's, let, let, let's, let's take a step back. Cinematography, Malcolm X takes the cake. 100%. Acting, ensemble, Malcolm X takes the cake. Training Day was cool because Ethan Hawke and Denzel Washington did their thing, but Malcolm X included a plethora of great performances from different Terrence actors. Didn't have all these great performances. Spike Lee's performance was Angela, terrible. Angela Bassett bided it. 
Uh, Denzel Washington. Body. And the was in 15 minutes of the movie. And killed it. She was. She Del was. Delroy Lindo killed it. Delroy Lindo put and on one of the best performances I've ever seen from him. His name was uh, hold on, his name was Albert. Albert Hall played Baines, aka the dude in jail that was like, you uh, what makes you so ashamed of being black? Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. He killed it. All you, right, you know what? I'll give it to you. Cause it's, I mean, I don't not really. That no, 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 no. Stand behind your word. You pick Training Day. You're sleeping like you're really sleep like Training Day. Didn't give it like that scene that you tried to say was funny. That train wasn't funny when it first came out. No, I'm saying. Dad will tell you. When that came it out, was it was like right. true betrayal. Like, y'all going to do this to me? That's why people make a joke out of it now. I would say Malcolm X will probably be the best performance for Terrence. For me, it's training day. I'm getting rid of the fences because John Q was too good. And I've never cried. Well, yes, I have. I cried on a lot of movies. John Q made me cry. One of the, one of the, when I was young, when I was little. You know how you grow up and you watch something you're like, damn, this is really deep. When I was young, I don't know what the hell I saw. John Q, it hit the same every time. I feel like John Q is a story. It's a movie. Fences as a story, written by August Wilson, one of the best uh, playwrights I've ever read, ever. I read it in 12th grade, and I played, I played Troy That's Maxson. That's why Terrence is like so hell-bent on Fences. He played it in I play. played Troy Maxson, and let me tell you, Denzel Washington was able to give us what we all wanted. Think about it. Fences was on the road for maybe, what, seven years. They did they did Broadway, Fences. So when they brought Fences to the big screen, we all got to see what we had all heard about from, because Viola and Denzel Disney. had done it on Broadway. Both won Tonys. Both won Tonys. We both got, we got to see exactly what it was. And honestly, bro, Viola Davis's performance in that movie alone, alone is a reason why I would put it over Training Day. There's no performance in Training Day it better than Viola. Was, Kimberly Elise? Kimberly Elise better than Viola? No. <laughs> that marks the end of this video. <laughs> just, I'll just mess it up. <laughs> yeah. Hey, look, put in the comments what you think, what movie should go out of the four. Yep. Forgive me for my voice because I'm still sick. Sound ridiculous. Also, put in the comments what you think the best performance was out of the four and which one that you think must go. Also comment what you think we might need to do next, some ne uh, some actors, movies. We breaking into this film thing heavy and strong. This was our college. This conversation is literally our college for us. Yes, sir. Follow us on the socials, they gonna be right down here. Twitter, yes, Instagram, hit us up there. Let us know what you think there as well. Season Merch season two, two. merchandise is on the shelf. Oh, get your <laughs> <laughs> you probably hear Bruce Wayne. I know what that means, dog. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Oh, no.